Okay, the math is part two. So part one really doesn't take that long. You just have to go way out each one of your isotopes and then get the total of your element candium. So now you're trying to determine the average mass in grams of each of your isotopes. And if you flip your sheet on the back, you will notice that it has formulas for everything you're going to have to do. Okay, all of them. So you just need to go very methodically um, through each one. So average mass tells you it is equal to the total mass of the isotope divided by the number of particles in that isotope. So total mass of the isotope divided by number of particles is our average mass. Average mass is what we're looking for, okay. So here's our total mass and we divide it by the number of particles. So for each one, we're just dividing this number, the total mass, by the number to get your average mass in grams of each one, which that makes perfect sense. So 6.2 divided by seven is going to give us 0.885, so we will round that to 0.89. Two digits should be plenty. We are then gonna do 9.4 divided by nine equals 1.044, and so we'll just round to 1.04. 11.4, and you'll be doing yours. Your numbers are not gonna be exactly the same as mine, especially if people ate the candy when they weren't supposed to. So 2.85, and again, we're dividing this number by the bottom. So 26.6 divided by 20 equals 1.33, okay, for our total. Now that makes sense, you might wanna think about it, and if you'll remember the mega, mega M&Ms obviously had a lot more mass per isotope than the Skittles or the M&Ms, so that, that looks pretty accurate there, M&Ms, Skittles, and mega M&Ms as the most massive. Now your percent abundance is next, and again, you can just look at your formula sheet, oops, and notice number two says percent abundance is the number of particles of isotope divided by the total number of particles times 100. So percent abundance. This is basically just plugging numbers in, okay? So number of particles of isotope, again, is gonna be this number, and they want us to take that and divide it by the total number of particles, which is gonna be the same every time, which is 20. Okay, so this number divided by 20, this number divided by 20, this number divided by 20, and since we're doing a percent, you're gonna multiply each of those answers times 100 to tell how much they have in one um, element candium. So seven divided by 20, seven divided by 20, and then times 100 is gonna be 35%, so that means you would find M&M isotopes 35% of the time. Okay, Skittles are gonna be nine. Remember, we're still doing the number, divided by 20. Nine divided by 20 equals 0.45 times 100. It's going to be 45%. And I think you may have figured out by now, hopefully we're going to end up over here, if we've done things correctly, we should end up with 100%. Okay, and then four divided by 20 is gonna be um, 0.2, and then multiply that times 100 equals 20. Okay, so 35 plus 45 is gonna be 80 plus 20 equals 100%. So um, all of our numbers are working out, okay? Because over here you've got your total. That's your main um, element. You need to have 100% of how they're abundant in nature. And let's see, the next thing that we're going to be doing is relative abundance, that's right here, okay? 
So relative abundance is the percent abundance, which we just now did that. Okay, we just filled that in, percent abundance. Okay, of each isotope divided by 100. Okay, so basically you can just move that decimal point over to the left two spots. So 0.35, since we're dividing by 100, you'll remember we just multiplied by 100. Okay. So there we go. And then our relative mass is going to be the last one. Relative mass, or almost the last one. Relative mass equals the relative abundance, which we just now did that right here. Relative abundance times the average mass of the isotope. Okay, so it's going to be this number times this number to give us our relative mass. So 0 0.35, 0 0.35 times the mass, which remember, you might want to double check, and it does say the average mass. The average, because you've got two masses. You want to go with the average mass because you're doing it per isotope. Okay, so relative abundance, 0.35 times average mass, 0.89 times 0.89. Ooh, I think I did something wrong on my calculator. Hold on. 0.35 times 0.89 equals 0.31. Okay. The next one is 0.45 times 1.04. Oops. 0.45 times 1.04. It's going to give you 0.47. Point 0.20 times over here, and then we're going up to there, 2.85. 0.57 okay and then 1 times 1.33 is 1.33 okay so now you have your table filled out um, if you have any questions about how you did any of that you can again look on the back of your sheet and there are all of the formulas that you will just need to plug in the numbers and work through those and you'll be able to find them. It looks somewhat complicated when you look at this all at once, but as long as you break it down little by little, you can just start with what you got when you were at the scales and then just do each row at a time and it will be easy to just move right along there. Um, I have calculators, you may use them or you can use the ones on your phone. And when you get that done, then you just need to come over here and work on your conclusion questions. See what kind of conclusions you can draw from what you found.